I'm Crystal, and I'm a Back to Space Ambassador. Right now I'm about to start making the launch frame for our high altitude balloon. There are a few things that I have to get done today. The first being setting up my workstation to use the circular saw. I currently have an eight foot long piece of wood that needs to get cut down into smaller sections. So once that's all set up, I'm gonna cut this piece of wood into three 32 inch sections, which will form the triangular shape for our launch frame. After that, we're gonna head over to the Western Center Academy and use their laser cutter to cut out the three corner pieces where we'll mount our computer systems, our GPS trackers, and our GoPros. For my workstation, I'm setting up two sawhorses with a piece of wood laying on top of them. This wood will help stabilize the eight foot long piece and give me a surface to clamp onto. After that is all set up, I'm ready to get cutting. I will be using a circular saw to cut this piece of wood, but a hand saw would also work just fine. I just finished cutting the three pieces needed for the launch frame. I didn't clamp them down very well, so the edges are a little bit rough, but I'm just gonna use a palm sander to smooth those out. It's not very critical. But right now we're heading over to the Western Center Academy to laser cut our three corner pieces. While we're there, I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple corner design in Inkscape that can then be uploaded into the software to cut it with the laser. For this launch frame, we will be using simple triangles as the corner pieces to mount our equipment. To make these triangles, I'm going to use the polygon tool set at three corners. After arranging my triangle in the center rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and save the file as an SVG. After putting the wood into the laser cutter, you will then use the Glowforge software to place your drawings onto the image of the wood produced on the screen. Here I am placing the three triangles made earlier in Inkscape onto the image of the wood. Once you think that the placement of your drawings is sufficient, you'll then add the necessary settings to cut through the material that you're using. Now that your settings are all dialed in, you're ready to cut. I now have everything I need to begin building my high altitude balloon launch frame. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put together, start drilling holes and assembling. To assemble the balloon frame, I pre-drilled holes into the triangular corner pieces and the three 32 inch pieces so that the edges lie flush with one another. I am using plastic screws and wing nuts to secure the frame and avoid adding the additional weight that comes with metal components. Once your base is fully assembled, you can add cameras, computer systems, trackers, and so much more to make your frame suitable for your launch. We now have a completed launch frame. As you can see, our frame has a few new additions. If you want to keep track of what we're sending up on our balloon, we'll be launching August 10th, so be sure to follow the Back to Space Ambassadors on our social medias.